the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria has called on the federal government to release all Nigerians in illegal detention in accordance with the rule of law. The PFM National President, Reverend Felix Omobude, in a Christmas message on Wednesday, saluted the decision of the government to release the hashtag Revolution Now convener on Moyele Shore and ex-National Security Advisor, Sambo Dasuki. He commended the federal government for responding to the criticisms by many, including the PFN, about its apparent reluctance to obey court orders. Omobude enjoins the federal government to go further to ensure that all who may have been detained beyond the period permissible by law are processed and released in accordance with the rule of law. Joining us now to take a look at this is Najib Bello. Thank you very much for staying with us, Najib Bello. Thank you, Benny, for having me. Now, what's your take on the release of Shore and Dasuki? Uh, it's, it's way overdue. Um, Dasuki has been in uh, detention, illegal detention, for about four years now. And uh, there, there is absolutely no reason for that to happen. When we call for such people to be released, we are not saying that they should go scot-free or they, are, they should be acquitted. That's not what we are saying. The criminal charges against them continue, but then you can now, they, they can now stay in their houses. According to what the court said, it's the court that gave them um, this bail. Yes. And I was upset that um, the, the executive arm of the federal government had to order you know, an already granted bail. You don't do that. It's, it's like um, the federal government passing a budget, the, the executive arm um, signing a budget, and the judiciary coming to say when the monies will be spent, telling them, oh, the minister. That's not how it's done. Minister of Justice cannot be giving orders when a court order has already been given. So right. that was very wrong, but at the same time, I'm happy they are out, and I wish we don't see this kind of thing again in our, in our country. All right, the, the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria has come out to say this is another call to action to release others who are being detained wrongfully. Your yes. thoughts on this? A huge percentage of um, the people in our prisons have not, um, have not been tried, have not been convicted. They are just, it's, it's just temporary. They are just being held there while awaiting trial. Some of them, their trial has not even commenced and they've spent years already in detention. It is a time for us to look at these things, go into the prisons, look at everybody's records. Some people have probably spent more time in detention than the entire sentence they would have gotten if they were convicted. So we have to look at all those kind of cases and know who needs to go, who needs to, who needs their cases reviewed, who has gotten bail. Everybody who has gotten bail should be bailed. There's no reason to keep anybody in detention when even we, we're talking about um, El Zagzaki also, who is um, another of a political detainee. His case is in court and he has gotten bail also. He should be allowed to go home. There is nothing. It's not. It's not a. It's not a special formula. Once you get your bail conditions and you fulfil them, you should go. Okay. In your own opinion, how do you say these cases of illegal detention and reluctance in obeying court order? How should they be addressed? I think Nigerians should take a tougher stance, and um, our judiciary today need to grow a backbone. I know it's very difficult, for instance, in the case of Shore, where a, a, a court granted him bail and, uh, and uh, he was being heard. He was supposed to show up at the, at the court and armed men came in, raided the whole place. The judge had to flee for life. We, we need judges who, they, they, they have to take their security more seriously. I mean, yeah. judges have to demand. Look at the policemen in the court when Showare was being malhandled. The policemen were just casually standing. Meanwhile, their job there was to protect the court, protect the judge, yeah. and protect the people who were being charged in court. But they saw men coming in there to seize a someone and they just left, they just, they just casually waited and allowed that. So maybe we need special forces for our courts 
so that when a court session is going on and someone else, be you DSS, be you the military or whoever, wants to storm in that place, you will think twice. But then generally, our judges need to take a tougher stance. Then we as citizens, we have to go beyond our government since the executive arm of the government has become, has made itself like the overall government now. The National Assembly may say something and the executive says no we won't do it. The judiciary may say something and the executive arm will say no. Maybe we need to talk to our ally nations, perhaps the US, China, and other countries who are doing business or who are interacting with our country and tell them that, come, you're about to give our country maybe a $5 billion loan, but do you know that this is the problem we are having? with? So maybe when they talk to our country, when they talk to our executive arm of government and say, please, we can't do this with you if this is the kind of thing you do. Like we hear that Cameroon, for instance, uh, the US government has, has removed Cameroon from some of the business deals they used to do because of human rights abuses. Yeah. So if we talk to our allied nations, Britain, the US, China, and tell them, oh, see, if we protest in those nations, especially when our leaders, we know our leaders like to travel a lot, when they are traveling to these countries, we are protesting, we are going to these countries to tell them, see, you can't be doing business with Nigeria when they don't obey um, 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 the rule of law. Because it could affect them also. It could affect them when their businesses come here. We could just detain some of their citizens and keep them there. So I think we should, we should um, put pressure on our ally nations. All right. Thank you very much, Najib Bello, yeah. for joining us on News on the Hour. Thanks for having me.